Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be free? It's a question that stirs the mind, isn't it? Freedom, it's a concept that's both universal and deeply personal. To some, it's the absence of chains, while to others, it's the ability to pursue their dreams unfettered. It's both a human right and a coveted ideal. It's a concept that's as complex as it is simple. So let's delve deep into the essence of freedom and why it matters. Imagine, if you will, a man named John. John was a man of simple tastes. He lived an ordinary life, working a nine to five job, surrounded by the buzz of societal norms and expectations. He was a cog in the machine, a piece of the puzzle that fit perfectly within the predestined slots. But within him there stirred a restlessness, a yearning for something more, a burning desire to break free from the invisible chains that bound him to a life of mundanity. John was not unhappy, but he wasn't truly happy either. He was stuck in a limbo, trapped in a life that was not his own. The societal norms, the expectations, the constant pressure to conform, it was suffocating him. He felt like a bird in a cage, able to see the sky but never to reach it. It was a life of comfort, but not of freedom. One day, John decided to change things. He decided to break free from these societal chains, these norms that had been imposed on him. He quit his job, sold his house, and set out on a journey to find his version of freedom. It was not an easy journey. There were times when he second-guessed himself, times when he felt lost and alone. But he persevered. He met new people, explored new places, learned new skills. He experienced life in its purest form, unfiltered by societal norms and expectations. And finally, after years of searching, he found it. His freedom. It was not a tangible thing, not something he could touch or see. It was a feeling, a state of mind. A sense of peace and fulfillment that came from living life on his own terms. It was the freedom to be himself, to live his life as he saw fit, to make his own choices, to follow his own path. John's story is not unique, but it's a powerful example of the desire for freedom. It's a testament to the strength of the human spirit, the innate desire to break free from the chains that bind us. It's a reminder that true freedom is not just about breaking free from physical constraints, but also from the mental and emotional chains that hold us back. Or oh, freedom, a simple word with profound implications. Freedom in its true essence is the oxygen of the soul. It is the lifeblood that courses through our veins, urging us to explore, to break boundaries, and to live life on our own terms. It is the cornerstone of our very existence, the foundation upon which we build our lives. Picture a world where every decision you make, every step you take is your own. No chains to hold you back, no walls to confine your thoughts, no ceilings to limit your dreams. That's the beauty of freedom. It's the essence of being able to choose, to choose who we want to be, what we want to do, and how we want to live our lives. It is freedom that fuels personal growth. It encourages us to step out of our comfort zones, to take risks, and to make mistakes. After all, the path to growth is often paved with failures, and it's only when we're free that we have the courage to fail and the resilience to rise again. Freedom also sparks creativity. It allows our minds to wander, to dream, to imagine. It's the key that unlocks the door to a world of possibilities, a world where the only limit is the horizon of our imaginations. And in this world, ideas flourish, innovations are born, and progress is made. Perhaps most importantly, freedom is the secret ingredient to happiness. It's the joy of waking up each day with the knowledge that you're the master of your destiny, the delight in knowing that you have the power to shape your own life, to mold your own future. So let's not take our freedom for granted. Let's cherish it, let's protect it, for it's the most precious gift we have. It's the key to a fulfilling, meaningful, and happy life. Without freedom, we are but caged birds, yearning for the sky. But alas, our freedom is under threat. Indeed, the liberty we cherish so dearly is being assailed from all sides, and the culprits might not be as obvious as you think. They sneak into our lives, disguised as societal norms, government regulations, and the ever-looming fear of judgment. Let's start with societal pressures. They're like an invisible cage, trapping us within certain expectations and standards. We're told how to look, how to behave, which jobs are respectable, and even who we should love. 
These pressures can stifle our individuality, our creativity, and our ability to truly express who we are. Then there's government control. Now don't get me wrong, a certain level of governance is needed for a functioning society. But when the scales tip too far, it can feel like we're living in a world penned by George Orwell. Surveillance, censorship, and excessive regulations can make us feel like we're merely puppets in a play, stripped of our autonomy and the right to make our own choices. And finally, the fear of judgment. It's human nature to want to be accepted, to fit in. But this can sometimes lead us to suppress our true selves, to wear masks that hide our authentic personalities. We alter our behaviors, our beliefs, and even our dreams out of fear of what others might think. This fear can be paralyzing, keeping us from reaching our full potential and experiencing true freedom. These threats are insidious, creeping into our lives often without us even realizing it. They're chipping away at our freedom, piece by piece, leaving us with a mere illusion of liberty. But here's the thing, we're not powerless. We, we have the ability to recognize these threats, to challenge them and to reclaim our freedom. It won't be easy. It will require courage, resilience, and a commitment to stay true to ourselves. Remember, freedom isn't just about the ability to do what we want. It's about being able to be who we are without fear, without restrictions, and without masks. The fight for freedom is a fight for our very essence. This, dear viewers, is your last chance for true freedom. Imagine standing on the brink of a precipice, the wind of opportunity whipping around you, the horizon of possibilities stretched out before you. This is where you stand right now at the edge of the rest of your life. The urgency of the situation is real and it's palpable. Freedom, you see, is not a commodity to be bought or sold. It's not a privilege to be handed down from one generation to the next. It's a right inherent and inalienable, woven into the very fabric of your being. But more than that, it's a responsibility, a responsibility to yourself, to your dreams, to the life you aspire to live. True freedom is not about doing whatever you want, whenever you want. No, it's about having the power to choose what's right, to choose what's just, to choose what's in line with your values and your principles. It's about having the courage to stand up for what you believe in, even when the world is telling you to sit down and be quiet. And so the time has come. The time to reclaim your freedom, to shake off the shackles of complacency and conformity, to step into the light of self-determination and self-empowerment. This is not a call to arms, but a call to consciousness, a call to wake up, to rise up, to step up. The journey to freedom is not an easy one. It's fraught with challenges and obstacles, with doubt and fear. But it's also filled with hope and promise, with triumph and joy. And at the end of it, waiting patiently, is the life you've always wanted, the life you've always dreamed of. But remember, the journey begins with a single step, and that step is yours to take. So take it. Take it with courage, with conviction, with unshakable belief in yourself and your power to shape your destiny. Freedom is not just about breaking chains, it's about not letting them bind you in the first place. We started with a question and we end with a challenge. We've embarked on a journey together, a journey that began with a simple yet profound question. What is freedom? We've examined the story of John, a tale that resonates with many. His struggle, his quest, and the realization of the importance of freedom are all too familiar to many of us. We've delved into the significance of freedom, a concept so vast and deep that it goes beyond mere definitions. It's the essence of life, the core of our existence. We've discussed the threats to freedom, the invisible chains that bind us, the external factors that subtly or overtly attempt to control us. We've also emphasized the urgency of reclaiming your freedom, the time is now. This is your last chance for true freedom. The challenge we present to you at the end of this journey is this. Stand up for your freedom. Break the chains that bind you. Don't let anyone or anything control your life. Live on your own terms. Make your own choices. Be the architect of your own destiny. Because at the end of the day, freedom is not just about breaking free from external constraints. It's about breaking free from the internal ones as well. It's about liberating your mind, your heart, and your soul. Remember, the only person who can truly set you free is you.